This is one of the fanciest ships I've ever seen. Man, we need this thing in career mode. Uh, come on, come on. Looking for the connections here. Oh, that's beautiful. Look how it barely fits. Wow. I think Stormworks might need a bigger hangar. Hello, YouTube. Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks. And yes, folks, we are back once again, and we are going to be playing in the creative mode today. Now, last episode, we kind of did the same thing, uh, but we actually took on some missions, and it felt really awesome to actually have, like, the big rescue crafts and be able to do these missions probably the way they should be done. So, we might be doing a career mode series here very soon. If you guys want to see something like that, let me know down in the comments below. Also, all the creations that are used here today will be down in the description, so go show some of the workshop creators some love. But yeah, we're going to jump right into here. If you're enjoying Stormworks on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's go check out some creations. Alright, so we're starting off massive here. This is by a person on the Discord named Sofa. Uh, they saw how I like to crash planes in the water. So we now have a big Coast Guard plane with the buoys. So I'm assuming this floats. Another really cool feature is the cargo bay here. Uh, it's got a v couple vehicles that we can load up. It's got a boat and there's a four-wheeler. Or I think it said four-wheeler. I don't know, maybe it's like a four-wheeled car. <laughs> we'll see it real quick. Let's go ahead and spawn this first. And see... Oh, wow, that's massive. That is beautiful, though. Look at the detail. The colors. Okay, so we're running off four prop engines. Uh, I might be a little too short for that. Actually, I think I can hop up. Can I hop up and grab that? Oh, there we go. Oh... Oh, that is a massive cargo hanger. Let's go ahead and close the door. Hmm. Is there a cargo net deleted? What does that mean? Uh, let's see. There is a... Okay, here's the ramp here, so... There we go. That's cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and put that up. We need to pull this out of the hangar because we're going to actually haul around a vehicle. There's the winch right there. And there's the winch controls. I know there's got to be some lights here. Uh, what's that? Dorsal hatch? Oh, we can go at the top. That's cool. Alright, let's uh, check the cockpit out real quick. Open this up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Look at all the controls here. Let's go and get some lights on. Is there a... Were those the cargoes? Okay, there we go. Lights are on in the back. Alright, let's get in the pilot seat. We have a co-pilot here. Fold wings, landing gear, uh, rotor tilts. The rotors, I guess they tilt up a bit. Um, there's your engine fires. Let's go ahead and fire these up real quick. Okay, pull these out. Do we have a brake for the landing gear? No, we don't. Oh, we're moving. Alright, we don't need to move much here, so let's just pull out the hangar real quick. Oh, that's beautiful. Look how it barely fits. Wow. I think Stormworks might need a bigger hangar. Alright, let's go ahead and kill the motors real quick. Let's get this thing stopped. Okay. So, looks good. Let's go to the back. We're going to load up a vehicle and take it to another island. Or we might just drop it in midair. That would be kind of cool. Alright, so this is the Pioneer 4x4. This is the vehicle that is meant for this plane. And uh, let's see. Let's fire it up real quick. You know, I don't know if we've ever driven a car in this game yet. Okay, it's connectors, headlights. This is awkward. I've never driven a car in the game. I know there's been some like bulldozers, stuff like that, but... I don't know really what you could use these for. I mean, everything's on islands. I guess you could have one stationed at an island if you ever needed it, but I just can't picture the day coming that I actually need a vehicle. But that isn't going to keep us from loading one up. All right, we are looking pretty lined up here. It's going to go first person. All right, let's go ahead. Boop, boop. Oh, uh oh, 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 uh oh. Uh -oh. That's not good. That's not good. Okay, hold on. Maybe we're supposed to drag this thing in a little bit. Let's back off a bit. Oh, am I stuck? Oh, we're stuck. Okay. Okay. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Okay. We're good. We are good. Look at this. Now, question is, can this thing actually lift off with this in here? I'm pretty sure we're going to need the uh, the rotor tilt assistance. Uh, let's go ahead and try to get this weight up towards the middle, about right here. All right, so, oh boy. Oh, parking brake. Parking brake. Kill the motor. Oh, we're rolling back. There it goes. All right. Oh, this is a little awkward. 
Uh, it's a connector. No, no, it's rolling. Don't roll. No, 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 no. Fire it back up. Probably should have the connector ready to go. Let's go and turn that on. Pull this back towards the front. Okay, we're gonna have to be quick about this. Let's go. Boom. Okay, let's hop off. Uh, see, that's connected up there. That winch out. Uh, let's winch out just a little bit here. There we go. Handle. All right, let's drag that over here and let's turn this back on. All right, come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Hooked in. Okay. Let's go ahead and tighten this a little bit. All right. That's probably secure. We probably need to turn this off, though. Let's go ahead and kill the motor and kill the headlights. Cool. So we have a... Oh, there's a sinking tugboat. Man, I'm almost tempted to take that mission, but we've already committed to this. Uh, let's go close that ramp real quick. All right. Cargo ramp is closing. We are ready to fire this up and get into the air. Uh, let's see how this thing performs. Now, we can do we can do a normal takeoff, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, I would say, hey, let's do a, uh, water takeoff, but we'll land in the water. So, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, close the door. Oh, there we go. Alright, so, we are ready to go here. Let's fire our motors back up. Engines fire, two, three, four. Landing gear's down there. Let's go ahead and fold the wings down. That is awesome. Okay, so let's taxi out over here. I'm assuming this is a this basically flies like every other plane, which I know I don't have a great track record with them, but oh, you know what? We probably need that rotor tilt. Let's go ahead and hit that. Yeah, the oh look at that. They've all gone up. That's cool. All right, so I'm gonna position this. I'm gonna actually back up. That way we have a little bit more runway here. All right, folks, this is about as good as it's gonna get. We have a car lodged and ready to go. Go ahead and lift. Oh, we're already immediately lifting here. Uh, full speed. Oh, why is it bounce? Oh, the uh, the landing gear is bouncing a little bit. Whoa! What's the landing gear doing? On. Let's get up in there. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's about as messy of a takeoff as you're ever gonna get, huh? We need to get that landing gear up. That for some reason it was bouncing. I wonder if the vehicle being inside it may have done that. I don't know. Oh, we're trying to get up. Come on, buddy. Oh, we're dragging the water. Uh, come on. Lift, lift, lift. Okay, let's keep the throttle engaged. Let's go ahead. Uh, let's go and kill the landing gear real quick. Uh-oh, we're falling. There we go. Okay, landing gear's up. Come on. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Let's try to get this out of the water. <gasps> oh, the tail's touching. Oh, come on. All right, so I read a little bit more about how to try to do a water takeoff. He says it is pretty tough with the cargo aboard. So you almost have to kind of rock it. So let's go ahead. Let's give it. We're trying to get a short takeoff here. Uh, okay. We just got to get that back in from dragging in the water. So if we can bounce it up and down, like pitch back and forth, it's eventually going to kind of bounce out of the water. And then once you get clear of it, I think it'll lift. Oh, we almost did it there. Yeah, I imagine this is just tough, especially with the cargo itself aboard. Oh, that was looking promising there. How close are we to being out? Oh, maybe we should be seeing the back here. Uh-oh. Uh, let's go back. There we go. And kind of tilt it forward. Come on. You can do this. I believe in you. Short takeoff here. Okay, let's do another bounce here. Yeah, he says you just got to do a bit of canoeing here to get this thing out of the water. Oh, it's so close. So close to getting out of the water. I almost feel like we need to drop our cargo here to get this bad boy out. I'm assuming that's having a pretty decent effect on it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Come on. Uh, we might be losing that cargo here. You know, I got a plan. All right, let's keep this full throttle here. We're going to actually hop out of this. This is really dangerous, by the way. Why are we... Are we... Okay, I thought we were tilting down. All right. Cargo, you are a little too chunky for us to carry at the moment. So, magnet off. Oh, that's going to crush me. Uh-oh. I didn't think this through, did I? Is there another button for the cargo door? Uh, besides in the back? On. Right, let's get in the car. Uh, get, in the, get in the car. Oh, this is dangerous. I really hope we don't hit an island. Okay, let's fire that up. Uh, drive forward, drive back, forward. I gotta unwedge this thing. 
Oh, this is so cool. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh oh, there we go. Okay, that's probably okay right there. Oh, wait, what? Uh-oh. Oh, this is bad. Oh, I might have myself stuck here. Oh, this was not smart. This was a bad idea. Are we upside down? Wait, since when did this happen? Oh, no! Oh, cargo ramp, cargo ramp. Uh, we're upside down. <laughs> I don't recall doing this. Uh, so yeah, I think this, uh, it could be just a Stormworks physics thing, but I do think this car being in here is playing absolute havoc on this plane and its ability to get up in the, uh, which I do very well think it's possible to get this up out of the water, but I do believe the, uh, the plane itself or the, uh, the car is actually keeping it from doing that. All right, door, come on. I'm trying to get to the door here. We're actually swimming alongside this thing, trying to get back into it. Yeah, this is... Today's gone swell. All right, folks, we have a canoe. I have screwed this up big time. So, what we're going to do here, we're going to go spawn this thing one more time, and we're just going to fly it without the cargo. Because, uh, yeah, this is the result of me trying that. Uh, it is a nice boat, though. Uh, I feel like we're cruising pretty good here. All right, here we go. We have lifted off. It's, a. Uh, you know, I don't wonder if maybe I could have used the wind and the waves, uh, but yeah, the waves to actually help me take this thing off with cargo in it. Uh, that could have probably went, actually, I think that would have went bad. Uh, the winch plays havoc whenever you have it attached, especially inside of a vehicle. I noticed with the uh, boat we used the other day when we were towing it around with the winch, sometimes it throws it off, but this is a, a beautiful craft, though. I uh, kind of wish I would have been able to work it a little bit better. Not to say that, like I said, it doesn't work. Uh, it definitely does. I've seen pictures, and I really do think once you get out of the water, you would actually be in really good shape. But, I mean, look at this thing. It's so glorious. Kind of cutting through the wind here. We had to try a water landing with this. You know, I kind of really want to hop out of it. Uh, how stable is this? So if I have no input, we're going over to the left a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and hop out real quick. Oh, uh, this is too cool. Okay, so we're going to cruise to the back. And oh, oh, it's so weird. It feels like we're barely moving right now. It's like it's like we can't even walk fast. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like out the back. All right, there we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. We are. Uh, are we going down? Where's the water at? Oh, we're oh we're curving. I think the wind's pushing us. Oh no! Hold on. Get get back to the front. Get back to the front. No, 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 no. We gotta catch it before it goes down. You gotta catch it. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're almost upside down. Okay. We gotta escape this thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, this is bad. Oh, uh, this is gonna be... Oh, uh oh. Uh oh, oh, oh. I'm falling. Oh, we can get back to the, uh, the cockpit here. Oh, that's the water. Water's right there. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, boy, that's an awesome creation. I really like planes in Stormworks, even though I'm not the best at flying them. All right, so, folks, are you ready for the ultimate rescue ship? This is the Imperial Class Cutter. This is one of the fanciest ships I've ever seen. Man, we need this thing in career mode. So, what we're going to do here, uh, we have this ship. We're actually going to load a helicopter on it. There's a connector. Is that a connector in the back? Hold on, let's, uh, let's jump aboard. Uh, we've been in a ship similar to this, but this thing, I just went through parts of it on the lift, and it is so detailed on the inside. What's this? Open. Oh. Oh, it's like the little deck, uh, thing. Okay. How does that... <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't open all the way. Uh, maybe we need to close it? Okay. Oh, you hold it open. Okay, it's on like a little, uh... Oh, it's on like a little rotation or rotor. All right, let's go ahead. I want to say bearing because I'm so used to scrap mechanic. There we go. All right, so what are we looking at here? We've got a pretty decent helipad. It's got, is this one of those little magnet pads or something? Uh, I wonder if it will actually stay on if we actually put one on there. I don't know. Uh, let's look around a bit. Looks like we got a below deck here. Let's turn on some lights. Oh, look at this. We can actually load a boat up in this. 
That's insane. Uh, is there a winch? I think these little pads you can connect into also. Wow, okay, that's cool. Uh, let's go ahead, let's get out here. Oh, the living quarters in here. All right, let's go and turn on some lights. The detail is absolutely crazy in this thing. Uh, there's a below deck. Uh, what's down here? Engines, do we need to fire these up while we're down here? So this is the engine room, let's go ahead. Close that. Oh, look at the cabins. They really, I'm hoping that they add a bed piece to the parts because I still think instead of having to go ashore into the little uh, beds there, it would be nice to be able to sleep out in the water. That way you're just kind of out there patrolling around. Oh, there's, there's a pooper. Hey, there's a shower. That's cool. All right, so this is all living quarters. How do we get up to the main deck? Passenger seats. Uh, might need to go out to get up to the main deck. All right, here we go. Main deck. Uh, oh, yeah. This thing looks loaded. How did I miss the stairs? There was a ladder on the back that you could climb. Oh, here we go. This is how you get up to the main deck. All right, so. Oh, look at the buttons. Okay, there's pilot seat, passenger. Let's go and get our lights on here. Uh, is there anything else I should be aware of? Got some control seats. Like, maybe this is the captain's quarters. All right, let's close that. Turn on the gauge lights. All right, let's get this thing fired up. Here's our, oh, it's our little Morse code lamp. That's cool. Spotlights are up here. Anchor lights, navigation lights. Go ahead and turn all lights on. Okay. Deck lights, helipad lights, gauge lights. Those are all activated. Fire it up here. Oh, this thing is a killer of frames. I'm noticing. I'm getting some, uh, I think it's the lights that are doing it. Let's turn off some of these lights. Too many lights is a bad thing, apparently. Let's go ahead and get going. Oh, yeah, that cuts right through the water. Look at that amazing craft. That is too cool. All right, so we've got this out here. Let's go get us a helicopter. All right, so I think, what, connector? One of these is going to activate the magnet. It might be one of those. All right, so our magnet's on. I don't know if we have to have the magnet uh, powered up on the other side or if it's just got to be one side's got to be on. Uh, what we need to do here, though, we're going to land right on our boat, and this should make it to where it won't fall off, which is going to be amazing, as long as I can do it. All right. I would consider myself a better pilot as far as helicopters opposed to planes, so I think I can land this. That's a, that's a pretty tight little landing pad. Uh, come on, come on. Looking for the connections here. Oh, 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 keep going. <gasps> is that, is it connected? Hold on. Uh, I think it is. Hold on, let's, uh, let's kill the engine. Are we staying? Auto hovers off. Hold on. Did this work? Oh no, it just fell off the side of the boat. Oh, uh oh, the boat is leaning a little bit. Uh, probably could have tried to uh, maybe center that a little bit better. No, it's, yeah, the boat's definitely leaning. Oh boy. Oh, uh, maybe the helicopter's a bit too fat for it. I don't know, it looks like it's actually not, yeah, I think it's connected. All right, well, I think we're ready to go on a little bit of an adventure here. Let's go ahead and get back up to the captain's quarters, and we're going to take off. If we lose the plane, we lose the plane. All we can say is that we tried. So, here we go. Is it... Is it connected? Uh-oh. Oh, it is! Okay, it does give a little bit, but you can see it's sliding back. Cool, so we have a helicopter now. That is awesome! All right, let's go uh, on a little bit of an adventure here then. All right, as long as this mission doesn't time out, we are actually responding to a sinking tugboat. So we need to get turned around here. Of course, this is a huge uh, cutter here. So we're gonna turn around, head out to that sinking tugboat, and we're gonna load them up. I would say let's take off from the helicopter and do it there, but I do wanna get both craft on site, so. Let's just hope it doesn't sink very fast, because I don't want to already abandon our cutter here. I know it's probably not procedure, we would probably be in the rescue helicopter doing this, but uh, let's get everything out over there and see what this looks like. Alright, it is getting darker. Uh, the waves have picked up a little bit. It's not too bad right now. 
Uh, we got all of our lights on. I figured if you're not in the cockpit, the lights don't actually kill the frames as much. Like, if you're in here, it's, a uh, it's a little laggy. But, if you go back out here, it's good. So, anyways, we're coming up beside them. We're about how many, uh, about 700 meters. Uh, we could turn on our, so let's turn on our lights real quick. Our spotlights, turn those on. We're gonna move them out to the right, that way we have some light in the water. And we're gonna toggle them down a bit. Oh. A little too far. There we go. A little to the right. And a tiny bit up. Oh, that's so cool. We're actually lighting up all the water, too. So we'll be able to see uh, see the boat and see where the guy is. And we'll get him aboard, set him down, probably in the cabin, let him warm up. And we'll take him over to the hospital. Uh, still looking. Oh, uh, you can actually somewhat spotlight the, uh, the fish in the water, too. That's really cool. Uh, I have visual on the boat. Uh, we're not going to get too close because I don't want to run into it. Question is, is he in the water or what? I think he is. Why would you Oh, I guess you would jump in the water if your boat's sinking. Uh, you don't want to get drugged down with it. Uh, looks like it's pretty much up to me, but I'm not going to call this guy a liar here. Alright, we're going to get a little closer here. Alright, there we go. We got him in the spotlight. Cool. Alright, let's hop out. A little bit laggy in here. Come on, get out of here. There we go. Let's get out on deck here. This boat is absolutely gorgeous lit up, by the way. And let's go ahead and get in the water here. Oh, the frames. The frames. There we go. Yeah, it seems like it's when you're standing on the craft. Uh, let's see. Hello, person. Is this a lady or a guy? Uh, it's, uh, I can't tell. I don't know. Let's just grab it. All right, come on. I'll load you up. Uh, do we have ladders on both sides of this boat? I think we do. Uh, yeah, yeah, we do. This boat has everything that you could possibly need on it. Uh, even the little bay in the back. I guess we could have like a little lifeboat. Maybe we should have had something like that. Uh, let's go and get up on here. Open. Are you still on my back? There we go. We're doing it. We're rescuing. Uh, open those doors. All right. We got our survivor here. Let's go ahead. Oh. Oh, I think the logic might be... Oh. <laughs> I might have broken the door. Uh, let's see. Let's just go ahead and set you down in here. All right. That is a rescue. Uh, the poor little boat is done for, but still. We got the person out of the water, and that was the most important thing. Now, I'm going to get my laggy butt back up here, and we're going to get over to the hospital. All right. So, we've been going for just a little bit here. Unfortunately, the... Uh, which this probably needs to be addressed. Yeah, this uh, hospital island does not have a big dock on it at all. So we're going to attempt to pull up to this small dock, drop off our survivor, and complete the mission here. Uh, a little bit closer, a little bit closer. That ought to do it. All right. Let's get this person out. Uh, I forgot. Oh, yeah, they're down here. <laughs> I was like, where's the person at? Uh, come on, come on. There we go. All right. I hope you have dried off here. I'll go ahead and grab you and chunk you back in the water. Let's go. This is perfectly fine to do this this way, folks. I can assure you. Oh, that boat looks so epic. This is like a creepy haunted hospital. Do they even have any lights on? I think there's like one light on here. What are you guys doing in the dark, basically? All right. I need some uh, like exterior lights or something. How do I? There you go. All right. Please don't sink your tugboat anymore. Well, let's go back over here and let's check out what does this boat look like from the shore. It's about to light up. There it is. Oh, it's so glorious. Oh, did I turn the side lights off? I think there's a light to uh, illuminate the sides. Hmm, I must have turned those off. All right, folks. I would pull out another craft and say, hey, let's look at something else. But this thing is just so amazing that I really want to put this thing through its paces. So we've jacked the wind up. Uh, got the rain flowing here. Let's make sure it is all the way hurricane-like conditions here. Let's see how this Coast Guard cutter can actually cut the waves here. Question is, okay, so we know that thing is secure. Could we actually take off from this now? I guess we could. This thing is doing a magnificent job right now. You know, I still swear that maybe they turned down the waves. Like, I have them at max right now, but I still think maybe they nerfed them a, a little bit. Uh, they used to, to me, seem like they were more intense. Now, it could be the whole fact that 
we just have such a huge craft right now that we're not actually feeling the effects as much. Uh, but we're going to get close. Uh, the cargo ship's over here. Get kind of close to that. Maybe, uh, maybe wave to the people. And maybe we should do an inspection. We should uh, board them and <laughs> kind of surprise them. I forgot. Does that thing have a landing pad on it? Oh, it does. I forgot. That thing does have a landing pad on it. All right. So we're going to park right here in the water. There we go. Okay, what's it like walking around on this thing when it's getting pounded by waves? This is going to be kind of... Whoa. All right. This is cool. So we're actually... I know we're getting some lag here. We're getting actually quite a bit of lag. Uh, we're going to launch the helicopter and see what that's like from uh, conditions like this. All right, we're near the rig over here. Let's see if we can hop up in this. Oh, this just feels dangerous. All right, let's close our doors here. Uh, are we getting closer to the... We might be getting closer to the cargo ship. Oh! Oh, we got hit big time there with the wave. All right. Let's go ahead. We're still attached. I believe this is what attaches the magnet. Or maybe it's the connector down here. Anyways, let's go ahead and get our lights on. Oh, that's bright. Uh, let's fire this up. Let's go ahead and turn all the lights back on. All right. Auto hover's engaged. We're not going to disconnect yet. Let's go ahead and make sure we've got everything functioning. Okay, we are good to disconnect. Look at that. Oh, that is too cool. And we're good to go. That's awesome. Actually, I really like the uh, the way the pad down there is illuminated. It's got the uh, flashing lights. All right. And we can just go forward. And we can leave. This is still probably one of the coolest games ever. Like, it doesn't get better than this. You can create your own creations, go download some really awesome ones, go do rescue missions, take a helicopter off of a boat like this. Uh, it just doesn't get much better game-wise. Uh, I'm really excited to see what they do at the, in the future. Just hopefully, uh, the only thing, really complaint I have is hopefully multiplayer just gets a little bit better. And we can do some of this in multiplayer. Because I would love to have a crew on that Coast Guard cutter and we can be doing some rescue missions and stuff on it. Uh, to me, that would be one of the most ultimate things that you could possibly do in Stormworks. But yeah, since we don't have any more rescue missions, I think we are going to wrap up this episode here today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of Stormworks. If you have any suggestions for future episodes, comment below. And if you do want to see a career mode, I mean, we're kind of doing it now since we get to play the missions, but we're not actually, like, earning money and unlocking the parts, which is a little bit of a grind. But if that's something you guys want to see, comment below. But anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this episode, and we will see you guys next time on Stormworks. Uh, look at that lightning. That's impressive.